Sawyer, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Wednesday, November 3rd, 2010. How's your chat hanging? I hope your election day hangover isn't too painful. Ah, it's all over, but now the infighting and the recounts begin. International flights cruising the skies near Indonesia have been canceled or rerouted because of the giant volcano erupting. 21 other volcanoes in the area are heating up too. Thomas could be causing some major flooding in Haiti and the Dominican Republic as its storm status strengthens and it powers up later this week. Discovery has been all cleared for liftoff around 4 p.m. from Cape Canaveral, wrapping a decade's worth of round trips to the space station. California's exiting governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is taking care of some last-minute biz before his successor takes over. One item crossed off the list, cutting off welfare debit cards for use at the neighborhood psychic. Oh, only in California. Thinking of making a change, Oklahoma City ranks as the most affordable city in the U.S., also very friendly and plenty of jobs. Disney star Demi Lovato taking a voluntary time out from her tour with the Jonas Brothers and has checked into rehab for an eating disorder and a cutting habit. Game 5 of the World Series topped Monday Night Football in the ratings, believe it or not. No small feat considering the games 1 through 4 were some of the lowest watched. MTV dance judge Melvin Shane Sparks is being called to court for having sex with an underage girl. This all happened back in 1997. He's 41 today. And the voice of Wheel of Fortune, Charlie O'Donnell, has died. He was 78. Got his start in TV with Dick Clark on American Bandstand. Your Phoenix weather forecast, sunny and hot. Ooh, 92. Lows in the 60s. That is your Phoenix wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning.